Welcome back, guys. Today we are going to be making salmon croquettes. And I'm just giving you guys a slow pan shot of everything we're going to be using today to go ahead and put these together. So I'm just brushing um, my baking sheet here that I covered in foil with some vegetable oil. You guys can use whatever kind of oil it is that you like, but you just need something to help your salmon not stick to your pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my salmon fillets that are already cut up here on my baking sheet. And I'm going to lightly season these guys because you really want to focus your seasoning to when you put the mix together for your salmon croquettes. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly season uh, these pieces of salmon with some Old Bay seasoning as well as some garlic. Uh, which you see me lightly putting on here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and season that again, like I said, with some Old Bay and some garlic. You guys will season to your taste. But I would emphasize you guys seasoning lightly because fish is always better when you don't overdo it. And uh, the salmon croquettes will really, you know, have another opportunity to be seasoned. So I baked those fish fillets there for about 20 minutes. Not even about 15 minutes i'll say um at 350 degrees because it's going to have another opportunity to continue cooking and really the fish will be almost done at that point anyhow so i'm going ahead now and i'm adding about three small onions to my food processor as well as a couple of halves i would say that right there that you're looking at is about two uh red bell peppers two large red peppers and I'm going to do a second uh, mix of the bell peppers, so you guys will just stay tuned for that. Here I'm just pulsing those onions and bell peppers together. I'm going to pulse this about three times because I want this to be rough chopped because I'm going to saute this. We don't want this to be like a puree or get like, you know, really wet and soupy. Like that's not what we're going for. So that's why I didn't even turn the food processor on. I just pulsed it three times. Here you see me doing that second mix that I mentioned to you guys and I have about two more halves of red bell pepper in here as well as some scallions or spring onions, whatever you call them. And I'm again just going to pulse that three times and this is actually less in here so you could even do it twice. And uh, then I'm just going to add that to my mix as well. You see again guys another rough chop. I'm adding some oil to the bottom of my pan and I'm just going to saute this. You don't want to add any water to this mix because you don't want it to be too wet. It can just like, you know, uh, saute slowly on like a medium fire. Um, and then you'll see here we saute this till the point that it was translucent and now it's ready to be added to our salmon croquettes mix. Nobody likes to be biting into like, you know, huge uncooked peppers and onions like it just it takes away from the salmon croquettes so there's a big trick that you guys can keep in mind so after we've gone ahead and sauteed this until it was translucent i'm adding it to my big mixing bowl and then i'm just going to go ahead and take my already cooked salmon and just break it up into my bowl for my mix the salmon croquettes are going to be so good you can also do these with canned salmon as well uh this is just the way i prefer to but you know you guys can do whatever works for you i'm just going ahead and going to break up all that fish and then we'll come back to add our next ingredients So now we're going to go ahead and really get that seasoning that's going to give our salmon croquettes all that good flavor. So I'm going to go ahead now and add uh, some Old Bay seasoning there. I'm adding some garlic. You'll see I added more this time, which is why I told you guys you can really lightly season that salmon in the beginning there. I've added some black pepper. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and also add some cayenne pepper. So I really want you guys to just keep in mind, you're going to season this to your taste. Uh, what you like is what's going to be the best for you. So this is what's best for me and my household. But you guys are going to do this to your own liking. 
so i'm just going to go ahead and mix that up together so that that seasoning is evenly distributed throughout all our fish before we go ahead and uh you know the fish and onions and pepper mix before we go ahead and add in um you know things like the binding like you know the flour and the uh italian breadcrumbs things like that like that's what makes our salmon croquette actually stick together so we want to make sure that before we add that uh the trick to getting even taste is to evenly season your fish and onions mix there so i'm just going to go ahead here and add two cups of italian breadcrumbs i am making two pounds of fish so this is why i'm using that much breadcrumbs you're going to have to adjust this to you know the amount that you're making if you're making the same then you could just go ahead and use the exact same amount as me so then i'm gonna go ahead and add in two cups of flour as well all right and then i'm going to go ahead and begin to get that combined now this is really chunky guys keep in mind because i used um, you know, actual salmon fillets. If you use the uh, salmon in the can, you may want to use less as, you know, the fish just isn't as chunky as it is if you were to just go ahead and fresh bake some salmon for this. So you're just going to adjust it uh, to what you need. So this flour you see me adding here is, you know, that two cups that I mentioned is accounted for. So um, you don't need to add additional uh, flour if you've already gone ahead and added two cups. All right, so here you see me adding in six eggs to our mixture. And eventually, and in total for this, or excuse me, for this order, for these salmon croquettes, I end up using nine eggs eggs in total but here you see me adding six with something like salmon croquettes especially because you guys could be making a different amount than me you just want to keep in mind that you're looking for a certain consistency don't get so hung up in the you know numbers i'm throwing out you're looking for the consistency so pay close attention to what the mixture actually looks like so here i added six eggs and you can see our mixture is still kind of like you know crumbling falling apart so i'm going to add this additional three eggs here because we want this consistency to be more wet exactly and dense as you see how it's coming together here now uh so that it will actually successfully stick together for patties and that they're not just you know falling apart and just turning into like i don't know like a salmon scramble <laughs> in the pan like that's not what we're going for we want this to actually go ahead and be dense enough and thick enough uh, so that it turns into like our perfect little patties. So I'm just going to grab an ice cream scoop here. And the key to using this ice cream scoop successfully is to just uh, put some oil on a paper towel. And then just go ahead and rub your ice cream scoop so that the mixture does not get stuck to your spoon. So uh, I have a you know a house size like you know household size ice cream scoop and i just scooped it into my hand and as you guys saw i just flattened it and molded it and molded it and that was the size that we are going for if you're looking to make larger salmon croquettes or even like a salmon burger then you can go ahead and adjust the size we're just gonna do whatever works for you guys so also another key thing to doing this successfully is keep your hands a little floured um you don't have to like you don't know, have so much flour that you're like drying your salmon croquettes out but you want to just keep a little flour in your hands so that the mixture doesn't stick to your hands as i mentioned to you it should be like dense and sort of sticky because of that egg and flour that we have in there so you can see the size I'm putting there in my hand. I'm just uh, going to do another one of these. And so here's just another. I'm just showing you what that size should look like there, guys. That's what the thickness should be like. I'm just going to go ahead and finish those up. And uh, you'll see here that um, I've put them all into like a parchment paper in a Tupperware and I stacked some on top of each other. And as I did that, I dusted a little flour so that they wouldn't stick together. And I'm going to store them in the fridge for about half an hour before cooking them. 
So I have a really large frying pan here, which you'll see is just shallow oil in there, not even enough to cover them. And I'm just sauteing them on both sides until they brown for about five minutes apart. And I'm so sorry I didn't get a final exact picture for you guys. As you can see, I was busy that day cooking a really large brunch. So I don't even have a final picture, but I'll try to do like a little slowdown when we get to the salmon croquettes. There they are. I hope that wasn't too hard. I think it's pretty easy. You guys let me know how yours came out down below in the comments. I hope this video was helpful. And, you know, as always, just a big shout out to you guys. And thank you all for stopping by to spend a few minutes with me.